Welcome to the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 4, Work in Energy. The section is 4.J, Impact of Bass on Conservation of Energy. You might see you have a picture here, but I decided to give you the three pictures to demonstrate which of these are. The first one is at its additional position. Next is when the block is sliding on a distance D. Then last, the spring is being compressed by the block hitting on it. You could read the scenario. It, the, the apparatus tilts counterclockwise, then it slides down a distance D. It hits it, then it compresses by a distance X. The first thing, it has no spring potential because the spring is not compressed. And there is no gravitational energy. It's all put, um, there's no gravitational, it's all kinetic by the object. This is going to be the same amount that I am going to be using for the rest of the problems. So, because co due to conservation of energy, nothing is lost nor created. So the next one is going to have the same amount. When it slides, what's going to happen? Well, it's going, did, did, is any of it going to be any of the spring? No, because the spring hasn't compressed yet. Okay. It's being slid on a rough surface because it says here there's a coefficient on it. When it slides against it, the friction is going to produce heat. So some of it is going to go into heat. Take some of it off and I'm going to put that into heat. Okay. This is the thermal that is caused by the frictional force. Then there is going to be some kinetic that is left because it's still moving and then there's going to be some potential. The reason why there's some gravitational potential is because there is still some height that is associated with the block. Notice there is no spring potential because the spring hasn't been compressed yet. Next, let's grab the same amount of area. All right. Now, as it slides through the whole distance, it's releasing energy in terms of thermal energy. Okay. Because it slides more, more thermal energy is going to be released. Think about the energy that's causing it to slow down as it's being lost to the forms of heat. This is the same reason as why when you rub your hands together, it feels warm. There is no more kinetic energy because the object is no longer moving. And there's no more potential because all of the height is gone. What is left is the spring is now compressed. The spring is going to be compressed and it's going to have now a gravitation. It's now going to have a spring potential energy. All right. So there you go. This is how the energy chart looks like for this system. The main idea here is understanding that the external thermal energy is being created from the block sliding against the frictional force. So energy is being lost in the system. A lot of people, you don't see the e-thermal a lot. Like a lot of our problems, we don't see e-thermal. In reality, this is actually what happens in real life. And we ignore the frictional force, but that does really exist. In reality, this is what you're going to see. If you believe in conservation of energy, you're like, well, this doesn't make sense because why isn't this area equal to this area equals to this area? Because in reality, these two really exist. All right, so there you go. The next part, how does mass affect this? I would like you to understand when we do our conservation of energy, it looks something like this. Energy final is equal to energy initial, right? And most of the time, it looks like this. It has the um, Kinetic, so one half mv squared plus potential mgh is equal to, oh, sorry, then the spring, one half kx squared, right? In, final, and this is the initial, one half mv squared initial velocity plus mgh height initial plus one half kx initial, all right? Notice that a lot of times you think mass will cancel right and mass does cancel okay but that's if the spring constant 
here it doesn't cancel because there's no M here right so just think about that so in this case when the block hits it how does the velocity change there are three parts to this answer the first one is when there's no mass the when there is more mass the gravitational force will increase because f is equal to ma because the gravi the force of the frictional force will also increase because the normal force increase from the gravitational force increase i'm going to show that because there is more gravi because there is more gravitational force um, and but that is balanced by the greater frictional force there is no increase or decrease of the net acceleration of the system. Therefore, the speed will not change. So in short, the mass does not impact the speed of the block before it hits the spring. Here you go, does not increase, remains the same. Now, before when it was mass M, it would look something like this, okay? The force of gravity, Mg, and because it's sliding so let me just draw something like this okay you have the force mu against it then here you have mg right force of gravity right so if this increases so if this increase right the component increase if this increases this also has to increase because this is f is mu times normal force right which is just mg as well this is why it says so if you look at this system what's the acceleration here the acceleration here is going to be let's say uh, one okay there's a difference of one here the fact that here it grows the same thing it's also going to be one there's no change into the acceleration because it impacts them the same amount that's why the velocity stays the same next does the x of the spring change all right and again you want to think about this okay so m doesn't matter but does the spring does the mass matter yes it does okay remember because we can't cancel mass when we introduce the spring so this does change but how does it change give that a try so the two forces that are acting against it here is that the force of gravity is is the one that's going to be hitting the spring. So it is the force of gravity that's going to be hitting. Uh, so this is mg, right? Force of gravity that's hitting it. Then the opposite of it is the restorative force, which is the spring, okay? Kx. Notice that if mass increases, so this is going to increase. Does this also increase at the same time? All right, so think about that. How does X change? So I wrote it here. The, fo the force of the spring would be equal to the force gravity. So KX has to be equal to MG. Since the mass increased, so the mass goes up. The dis Since the mass increases, the spring distance compressed by the X has to increase because the coefficient of the spring stiffness does not change. So I said K remains the same so i'm just going to ignore that if this increase x has to increase because k remains the same therefore the spring will have to compress more so there has to be a greater x if the mass increase because this supplies more energy into it and remember that assumes that the k remains the same okay so spring is going the spring's compression amount is going to increase because there is more mg more force of gravity being transferred and compressing the spring all right so there you go those are all your answers for 4j